Hi everyone, this is Mohammed Rafiq. This is part 3 session of Windows Server 2003 clustering on BMI virtual machine. In our uh, previous parts, that's part 1 and part 2, we have previewed how the step by step procedure how to configure a uh, Windows Server for clustering from the BMI side, that is, how to configure the shared desk and how to configure the network for this cluster node. Now, uh, both Windows Server 2003, Node 1, and Node 2 are up and running, and the disk or shared among the two nodes that is windows server 2003 node 1 and node 2 now we have a shared disk between this and we have created a cluster service account that is clu admin domain account that is part of uh, the local administrative group on both the servers because uh, the cluster service account which is needed while creating the cluster so everything is ready to configure a cluster let's move to the node one and we'll start the configuration of cluster go to the cluster administrator wizard so let's create a new cluster okay so welcome to the new wizard up here these are the requirements for creating a cluster a cluster domain should be there a cluster name that is unique in the domain a name of the first computer to be added to the cluster a static IP address and login information for the user account in the domain for it that is cluster service account we have everything with us let's go to the next it's part of lab.com domain um, for cluster name I'm gonna give a file clu that's gonna be our cluster name go next So let's add the computer name. So analyzing configuration has been started. So it will analyze the configuration of this cluster and all the resources and uh, finding the common resources on the nodes and cluster feasibility or cluster settings. So it will analyze. So it started this in the process. So once it completed, we are ready to go with the cluster creation. Yeah, analyzing configuration is completed. So it's all green. Let's buy the IP address 192.168.0.15. This is going to be useful for the cluster IP address. Click on next. So we have to provide the username and password. That is for cluster service account. That is CLU admin and password. This CLU admin, that is this cluster service account, should be part of a local administrative rights on the all nodes. It's going to be a part of this cluster. So it's already there. It's very fair once. So yeah, it's there. It's CLU admin. It's part of administrative group. Click on next. So let's review the cluster configuration. Whatever we have provided uh, in our previous stages, it will be displayed over here. We have to make sure everything is perfect. So once we click on next, the creating cluster setup will start. So if you want to change uh, the quorum disk, so we can go click on the quorum and we have to from the top and we have to select which disk we have to make it as a quorum. Let's make it as a disk queue, which I have created it for quorum disk. Click on next. So creating the cluster is started. It's starting customizing the cluster database. So creating the cluster is completed now. So everything is green. Everything is completed successfully. You click on details, you'll find the status code and if it's any error it will be displayed over here. Click on next. If you want to review the logs, we can click on logs here, completing a new server cluster wizard is successfully completed. Now we are ready with the cluster, find CLU, with our first node added in the cluster, Windows 2003 node 1. So 
So all node 1 is added into the cluster file CLU. Let's add the another node. So these are the resources disk V, disk Q is a clone disk and disk E and cluster IP address cluster name are the resources for this particular cluster. And all the NIC cards for this node 1 is displaying. Let's add the another node here. Uh, so Windows Server 2003 Node 2. Click on next. Let's type our Node 2 name and click on add here. Click on next. So now it, it's again started analyzing the configuration of cluster. It will compare the shared resources between the two nodes and layer communication and everything it will check so it start analyzing so the analyzing the configuration is completed let's click on next so we have to provide the password for cluster service account which we have mentioned during the creation of cluster that is CLU admin and group of the nodes click on next let's review the cluster configuration click on next So adding node to the cluster is in progress. It's divided into four different subcategories like reanalyzing cluster, configure cluster services, configure resource types and configure resources between these two nodes in the cluster. So now it is uh, currently starting up the cluster service and uh, Windows Server 2003 node 2. That is our uh, second node. It's configuring the majority node set. And everything is configuring bring in the disk queue online adding node to the cluster is completed it's all green we are good to go completing the add node is yeah you have successfully completed add nodes wizard click on finish now our cluster is ready our two node cluster is ready with the, both the nodes uh, up and running it's node 1 node 2 all the resources are with in node 1 our disk cluster name and cluster IP addresses everything is ready it's all the network interfaces there is 4 network the network are visible and 4 network adapters from both the nodes are visible over here everything is ready to configure your service or application in the windows cluster So these are my shared disk. So that's all about uh, Windows Server 2003 cluster configuration or a VMware virtual machine. For VMware, this uh, for storage part, I have used Starwin iCSI, a free software that's really useful uh, to test all these functionalities. It's really a cool software. Even you can use that in the production environment. For it's really cool. That's all about this part. Thank you very much. I hope this is informative for you. For more videos, you can visit vspr.blogspot.com. Thank you very much.